Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Toy Geek Maniac. I'm your host, Constance Miller. Today we're going to be taking a look at two figures from the Spin Master DC line for Batman characters. And we're going to start off with Batman himself. So each figure comes with three surprise accessories which you can access from the back here. And that is exactly what I'm going to do before busting into the figure itself. Batman comes with these hand accessories. Not sure what the purpose of them are. He also comes with two uh, translucent katana blades. And this looks like some sort of jet pack that you can plug into his back. I'll have to see when I get the figure open. I honestly have no use for those accessories. Um, if it was something that was part of Batman lore, it would be a little bit different, but now we're going to bust into the figure. The figure also comes with this mini poster, and this is something that I can definitely use to go on my wall of popular culture. Alright, so I need to make a little bit of a comparison to this line of toys compared to McFarlane Toys' Superpowers line, which I had two figures of and I was highly disappointed with them. These are roughly the same size, maybe a little bit smaller, so I don't know if, if they will work in conjunction with the Superpowers line, but let's go ahead and get into articulation. Batman has a turnable head, get the lateral lift in the arm with the shoulder turn and he has a single jointed elbow there's no crunch forward or back or even a waist turn lateral lift in the leg is astounding there is a thigh turn and there's a turn in the knee as well Well, as it being a single joint. So, definitely a little bit more articulation than what McFarlane Toys Superpowers line has. And I like the idea of the cloth cape. That is pretty awesome. And I have another Batman, as well as a Catwoman. Uh, laying around somewhere, so I might have to bust them out and put them on display with this figure and the next one that I'm going to present. Here we have Batgirl. The only reason I really wanted to start collecting this line, which I'm not going to collect all of them, unless I can find them super cheap. Batgirl was a little expensive as I found her on Amazon, but it's the only time I've seen her. I've not seen her in stores, um, so I'm going to go ahead and bust open the secret accessories. Batgirl has her own katana blade. This one is kind of cool. Um, it's like a super huge batarang, or it could be like... Oh, I forget what they call it. The weapons that Klingons use in battle in Star Trek, it's kind of kind of looks like that to a degree. 
there's this grappling hook um, that is super large and it has a uh, language on it that I think pertains to Joker. So I don't know if this is a reproduction of something that comes with Joker and they just decided to include it with Batgirl, which I find to be a bit ironic if you know the history of Gordon, Gar uh, Barbara Gordon and Batgirl and the Joker. So yeah, once again, I don't think I'm going to use any of these in the display. That girl also comes with the same poster, so I've got two to work with. Um, one if I want to just snip out little pieces if I wanted to for like a scrapbook, and then one to hang on my wall. So for only being a four inch scale figure, this is a pretty like decent version of Barbara Gordon in the background. And I kind of wish her hair was a little bit more red than orange, but I'll take it. So you can't really do much of a turn in the head because of her hair. The lateral lift in the arm with the shoulder turn. Single joint to the elbow. No flex in the waist or torso or even a turn in the waist. We get an excellent lateral lift in the leg. Thigh turn and a single jointed knee. I'm pretty happy about this figure and I'm glad that I've got it. Was it worth the price that I paid? Um, if she had better accessories, I would say so. Um, but I'm an avid Batgirl fan, so, uh, so yeah, it was worth it. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Toy Geek Maniac. I certainly appreciate it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. That notification bell is there if you want to be notified whenever Red and Slim Productions uploads a video. Also, there are a couple links in the description if you are inclined to help the channel grow. You can buy me a coffee or visit my Amazon.com wishlist. I appreciate all the views, the comments, the shares, the likes, you name it. It means a lot to me. So with that in mind, as always, love and light to you all.